Hello everyone. My name is Michael Michael and I'm the Senior Director of Product Manager. In this video, I will show you Apprentice integration with a key private cloud solution by Microsoft and demonstrate our powerful Better Together story. We'll specifically be talking how Apprenda helps unlock full platform as a service capabilities for Microsoft Azure Stack. Azure Stack delivers Microsoft Azure technologies for you to run inside your own data center. It offers a rich, self-service, multi-tenant set of services and experiences that are consistent with Microsoft's public cloud offering, Microsoft Azure. Under the covers, it integrates with familiar technologies like Hyper-V and Windows Server to provide customers with the ability to acquire and consume resources like high-density websites, virtual machines, databases, storage, and many more. In fact, with the use of the Azure Resource Manager, also known as ARM, and the Resource Provider model, resource providers and ARM templates that are developed by partners and customers can be attached to either the public Azure environment or Azure stack, giving customers the developed ones deploy anywhere capability. Let's quickly go through a few slides and then we'll do a demo. One of our goals at Apprenda is to empower the world to build and run software with a pragmatic approach and superior technology. We have a lot of customers that are interested in Azure Stack as it is one of the next big innovations and investments by Microsoft in the private data center space. With Apprenda being one of the leading platform as a service solutions in the private cloud, it makes sense to explore integration options and create a powerful better together story. We share the vision of a hybrid cloud and people-centric IT with the Azure Stack team, and together we transform and modernize the private cloud. Our goal is to make it very simple for both developers and operators to use the private cloud resources and operate from a single pane of glass. This gives them a consistent set of experiences to acquire and consume resources within their own data center or resources from a public cloud like Microsoft Azure. In addition, with Apprentice integration into Azure Stack, we get to expand the type of applications supported inside the platform. Azure Stack is highly customizable both by customers and partners. Apprenda is in fact one of only a handful of partners that are members of the technical preview group for Azure Stack. We have been working with Microsoft and the Azure Stack team for a couple of years now and we have a working integration through the resource provider that we created for this platform. This integration would allow Azure Stack users to deploy, manage, and scale Apprenda hosted applications within a single pane of glass being the portal of Azure Stack. This is in essence extending Azure Stack's capability to include support for a broader range of application components like N-tier, .NET applications, Windows services, SOA and web apps, multi-tenant applications, as well as offer the SaaS enablement capabilities that Apprenda offers. It also creates a powerful cross-platform story with Apprenda support for Java, .NET, Linux nodes, and Oracle databases. Users will be able to use their Azure Stack portal to drive a lot of the day-to-day -day operations that Apprenda applications need. When we look at Azure Stack and Apprenda, we start thinking about the set of features that Apprenda brings into the mix. From an enterprise-grade features perspective, we bring the application lifecycle management that we have. We bring resource controls and quotas for the containers that we run application instances under. We give developers a multitude of building blocks like authentication, authorization, multi-tenancy, auto-scaling, and high availability that simplify their development of their enterprise line of business applications and shorten their time to market. Enterprise log aggregation and forwarding allows developers to gather logs from as many instances of their applications as they're running and view them all in a single place. Operators get to take advantage of policies like resource policies 
deployment policies, bootstrap policies, and other security features that make it easy for them to create an environment where developers can operate in a self-service capability. The infrastructure efficiencies through application multi-tenancy cannot be underestimated because they will save you a lot of money because now you don't have to run one virtual machine for every instance of your application. One of the most powerful features of Apprenda is our extensibility story through our enterprise integrations, our add-ons, and the ability to integrate with any data center technologies that are available today. So when you look at very specifically some of the enhancements that Apprenda brings into the mix, we are able to modernize existing applications or start with a born in the cloud, cloud native applications. We offer SaaS enablement for multi-tenant applications. Windows services are supported, Linux executables. We support a multitude of application servers like Tomcat 6 and 7, multiple versions of JBoss, WebSphere is in our near term roadmap. We have also added support for Docker containers and the Docker engine since early 2015, and we're working on making uh, significant enhancements into integrating and working better together with the Kubernetes community. On the databases front, we support Oracle 11G, 12C multi-tenant, as well as many, many versions of SQL Server. When you look at the architecture of how we have integrated with Azure Stack, we have created a resource provider for Apprenda that allows us to integrate with Apprenda via our REST API and create a set of plans, subscriptions, and offer settings that are included with the resource provider. The UI extension that we created provides the Blades user interface that is visible in the Azure portal, and it creates a gear for the developer experience within this portal. We also have a gallery package for Azure Stack. We have an Azure Marketplace image that gives you the ability to create a single node evaluation version of Apprenda if you like to test that out. And we also are working on an ARM template that would allow an enterprise or a customer to create a multi-node deployment of Apprenda. Looking at the high level architecture of Apprenda, one of the notable things is that we have many ways that developers and operators can interact with Apprenda. We have our application perform API and CLI. Um, most of that is REST-based and SOAP-based. We have our developer portal that allows developers to get a more prescriptive and a nicer user interface. We have the IT operator portal, and now we have Azure Stack, which becomes one more interface to work with Apprenda and deploy and manage your applications. So in summary, before we get to the demo, Apprenda is a foundational software layer and application runtime environment will help customers abstract the complexities of building and delivering modern applications, helping them turn ideas into innovations faster. We help them win with software at the front of their business strategies. We've integrated with Azure Stack to transform the data center, extending the capabilities of Azure Stack to include a comprehensive enterprise platform and as a service in your own data center. We're enhancing it through a set of enterprise grade features and we allow developers to get a single pane of glass experience. Let's get now to our demo here. What you're seeing on your screen is Microsoft Azure Stack in one of its technical previews. I am logged in as an administrator, so I can show you a few of the capabilities from an admin perspective, as well as some from a user perspective. During the course of this presentation, I'll be making an assumption that you're familiar with Apprenda and some of our core capabilities. As a refresher, I recommend watching any of the Apprenda webinars or open demos that are hosted by our team on our website. They will provide you with a good overview of our latest release and product capabilities. Let's continue here. In the Microsoft Azure Stack UI, you'll notice that I'm able to see 
a lot of different settings and I get a very consistent experience to the Windows Microsoft Azure portal that's over there on the public website. I get to see things like virtual machines, virtual networks, if I had databases, I have storage accounts here. So all of the same settings that are implemented as resource providers on the Microsoft Azure public portal are also available in the Microsoft Azure stack. So let's get started here to show you some of the specific capabilities that are here uh, and made available by Apprenda. So the first thing is the resource provider. So we have an Apprenda RP, which is implemented as a resource provider, as I showed you earlier in our presentation, and it allows Azure Stack to communicate with Apprenda via our REST API. It has an endpoint, it's already registered in this portal. The next thing to look at is what we call a plan. A plan is what allows us to define uh, a set of capabilities that we want to make available to another entity, in this case, a user. So we use plans and offers to make those available to tenants of Azure Stack. So in this case, our plan settings is the Apprenda public environment plan. That's what I called it. And if I drill into services, I'll notice here that this plan depends on the resource provider that I showed you earlier, and it's the Apprend application. And if I click on that, more specifically, one of the key things here that's shown in this blade is the fact that I have connected an Apprend API URL to this plan and made it available as a setting, allowing, in essence, a tenant of Azure Stack to be able to connect to this Apprenda instance and utilize their applications from this connection. Let's go now and look at the offer that we created. So clicking on offers here allows us to look at the Apprenda offer here. Let's search for it really quickly. There's our Apprenda public offer. And this offer now is an offer that's added on top of the plan and it allows me to create subscriptions so that I can have tenants that can utilize this offer to provide access to them to the Apprenda RP and in essence to the Apprenda installation environment. So I've created both a tenant subscription and an admin subscription. Since I'm logged in as an administrator right now, I get to use the admin subscription that I created. So essentially you have the resource provider that's connected to Apprenda, then you create a plan and an offer allowing specific tenants to have access to the Apprenda environment within the context of the Microsoft Azure Stack portal. This model is actually very powerful. Um, it allows a resource provider in this case and whoever the administrator is of Azure Stack to keep the ability to its users to subscribe to services. So you can go and request a subscription or one can be made available for you. So now let's go ahead and look at this Apprenda PP environment, which is a subscription that I have already pre-created for me based on the offer and the plan that I showed you earlier. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna give me the team that I'm logged in in Apprenda, my username, and I get to enter my password here. So I'm gonna hit login here. And this now will go and pull down all the Apprend applications that I have access to as a member of the development team called M2Inc and using the credentials I have supplied to Apprenda. Let's go ahead and see how easy it is to create a new application for Apprenda. And you see that this is as easy as we have made it in our developer portal. Let me click on create here. I'm gonna call this time card demo real. Demo two actually, and I'm gonna call it, this is a demo app for time card. And the archive location, in this case, I'm gonna go to the Apprenda downloads page. This is a public downloads page by Apprenda. I'm gonna right click here on the time card zip. I'm gonna copy its link address, and I'm gonna come here and enter it here. And I'll go ahead and click create. This now will go ahead and create this application into Apprenda and upload the archive that I have supplied in my URL there 
and create the model of my application so I'm ready to promote it, get it through the different lifecycle stages and be able to use it. So my application was created. Um, see how easy it was and how short of a time it took for me to create a brand new application, uh, whether that's an existing app that they have modernized or it's a brand new cloud native application that I'm bringing into Apprenda or it could even be a Docker container. Let's go ahead and refresh our list here. So our new application is in definition, but I already have an app uh, in Sandbox that I would like to show you guys to uh, show you some of the capabilities of Apprenda. So now we have this time card M2PP application that is in the Sandbox stage. It is already running. I can see some details about my application here. I see the alias, the name of it. Um, it's been running for about 6% uh, of the past hour. Uh, and, uh, and about 783 uh, for the past day. Uh, it has one website, so I only have one component of a website, I have one component of my database, and I have one component of my web service. So this is a three-tier application here that we're looking at. And from the top here, I can see some easy actions to promote, demote, launch, or delete my application if I so choose. If I click on websites here, I get to see some very specific settings about my, my, uh, my application here. So on my tier of websites, I have one instance. Uh, it's called root. Uh, it's an IIS-based website. I get to see utilization, uh, some key metrics here, like minimum, maximum, average. I get to see how my, inst how my application was running in the last uh, uh, few minutes here. Uh, and I can filter it by different set of settings. I can go as far back as the last 24 hours. If I had multiple application instances, I could be able to choose them here and filter based on application instance. Let's go to web services here because I know I have deployed more than one instance on my web service component. So clicking here, I get to see here that I created three instances of my time card service with a resource policy small. I'm gonna look at resource policies in a second, but here, I can get to filter between the three different instances of my web services, and I can see individual details like memory and CPU across a big time span for any one of my instances. So if I'm doing some troubleshooting and I wanna see if any instance of my service is not behaving correctly, I'm able to do that here very easily. Notice here that I have used a small resource policy. So let's take a look at the resource policies that are available for my component. So have the small, medium, large, microservice, and default. These are resource policies that the IT operator or the administrator of Apprenda has defined and has given them as available options for me to choose. The operator can choose to build me based on my utilization and the type of resource policies that I have chose for my components. In this case, I've chosen a small component um, allowing me to scale my application instance by adding more instances to my web services rather than increasing it uh, vertically. So I can do both horizontal and vertical scaling all within this single pane of glass here. So how do we do scaling and increasing the number of instances? I have a few different options here. I have manual scaling, automatic or schedule scaling. In this case, I chose manual scaling and have indicated to Apprenda that I would like you to keep my instance count as three for this web service component of my application. I can change the slider and move it to four. Go ahead and save here. And within a few seconds, what Apprenda will do is it will scale up or scale out my instance of the time card service and add one more instance. Because we keep this application component is inside a container and it's very small, very portable, very lightweight. We're able to scale within a matter of a few seconds here. Seems like we've got a small failure there. So let's see if uh, uh, what happened there. So let me go ahead and refresh our screen here just in case the, the component here was able to, uh, to proceed as expected. Go ahead and close this click on web services again. And it looks like it did take the, the change of instance count, but there's probably a small error behind the scenes. I uh, remember that Azure Stack is in technical preview, and so is our resource provider that's connecting 
the Azure Stack to Apprenda. So let's go ahead and look at the few other settings here that are made available for developers. So we have user settings that allow you to modify some of the application specific architecture and other settings, things like who should be able to access my application, anyone, authenticated, authorized, or multi-tenant. Those are the different options that we give made available to developers. We we'll give you the option to choose the data model as well as the URL type that your application will be accessed. If you want to provide the vanity URL or force HTTPS access, you can do that here as well. Custom properties are one of the settings that allows both developers as well as operators to define metadata for their application. And the metadata can be used to drive policies like application deployment policies, bootstrap policies, and so on and so forth. The last thing I want to show you here is how easy it was to not only create a brand new application here, but let's go ahead and use that application. So I can click launch here and I'm not getting IP addresses, VLAN IDs, or any other settings. All I'm getting is a URL to my application that was deployed in a manner of a few minutes, hosted on Apprenda, and is scaled by Apprenda to the number of instances that I have indicated. So here I have my time card management application and can go ahead and add entries here. So I'm gonna add myself here. And save that. And now we have an three-tier application with a website based on IIS, a middle tier, which is a WCF web service, and a database, all hosted in Apprenda, and utilized and shown to the developer who can deploy, manage, scale that application through a single pane of glass of the Microsoft Azure Stack. All of that enabled through the resource provider that we have created at Apprenda. If I were to go to my applications list in Apprenda, and this is Apprenda developer portal here. I can refresh the data on my screen here and see that I have both my time card demo two application that I just created just a few seconds ago or the time card M2 PP application that's in sandbox and has been scaled out by me. So you get a consistent, very similar web interface to the one that you see in Apprenda. So if you're a developer and you use Azure Stack, you can use all your capabilities and most of the day-to-day -day actions that you can do with Apprenda, all from the single pane of glass of Azure Stack. A cool feature actually here is the fact that I can even pin my favorite applications into the Azure Stack portal, making it easy for me to find them and log in directly to them. So I can click on my app here and I can pin this specific blade into the dashboard. So if I go to the Microsoft Azure Stack dashboard here, this is the root of the portal interface, I can see my time card M2PP application that I just pinned and I can just double click on that and immediately it will take me to my application and I can get to manage it and look at this performance, utilization, look at custom properties and be able to scale it or change the resource policies on my app. Let's switch gears here for a second. What I want to do now is I want to take an existing .NET application and show you how easy it is to modernize that application and make it run on Apprenda so that it can take advantage of the full benefits of the platform, including scaling, high availability, authentication, authorization modules, and so on and so forth. Uh, for this exercise, I'm gonna pick blogengine.net, uh, a, uh, a very popular uh, blogging application uh, written on .NET. So I'm going to go to the GitHub page here, and it's the rxtur uh, blogengine.net page, and I'm going to go ahead and download the zip file here with the full source details of Blog Engine. Looks like my download is complete now and let me go ahead and unzip this. Uh, it's going to take a few seconds here so I might pause this video just to save us some time here. Uh, 
our unzipping is pretty much complete now. Let's go ahead and open up this project in Visual Studio. I'm gonna go to the root of the folder, the words blog engine. It has three components, the core, the .NET, and the test. And it has a solution file for me to open. Uh, it's compatible with Visual Studio 2015. And let's bring that up here. And here's our solution here that's open. Now, in order to make this application compatible with Apprenda, there's a couple of changes I need to make to instruct a blog engine to use a database uh, server based on SQL Server instead of a local file or an XML file or any other type of storage for its data. And the second thing is I want to make sure that the description of the database server is something that Apprenda can understand so that once we upload our application and we make a model out of our multi-tier app here, it knows how to find the database as provisioned using the database as a service feature of Apprenda. Just go ahead and make those applicate those changes. I know that the changes are need to be in the web.config file or blogengine.net. So let me go ahead and open that file here. And the changes I need to make are around the blog provider here. So the default provider is the XML blog provider. And I want to change that to include a, a SQL provider. So uh, let me go ahead and make this change here. And I replaced the XML blog provider with the blogengine.core.providers DB blog provider um, taken out of the blogengine.core binary. And um, it is the SQL blog provider. So that's the description of that. And it's using a connection string name called blogengine. So I need to define that now. And the place where I define it is in the configuration section, right under config sections here. I can introduce a new section um, called uh, connection strings and define the blog engine connection string. Now you may ask, what is this application connection strings here? So let me go ahead and copy that. And it has a provider system to data to SQL client. And what we'll do here is we'll go back to the web page that we were looking at earlier. And I'm gonna search for Apprenda tokens. And Apprenda tokens are basically configuration uh, uh, settings that, uh, let me actually link to the proper documentation page for Apprenda. And there, think of them as a type of metadata that at build time or at code time, you don't know what the right value needs to be. So you put a token there and Apprenda will substitute that token with the real value at deploy time of your application. And in this case, because we're using a SQL, uh, a SQL string, um, I don't know ahead of time what my database will be, especially if the database is hosted on platform using our database as a service. So I can use this application connection string token. And then when my application gets deployed, Apprenda will replace that with the real value of where my database needs to be located. Let's go back to Visual Studio here. So I made this change here. Uh, let me make sure that everything's built here. Uh, it's gonna restore some NuGet packages and it's gonna go ahead and do a full build of our entire solution. Um, while that's happening, there's a couple of other changes I need to make. Um, I need to come into this blogengine.net under setup SQL server. There's a setup.sql file. I need to make sure that that file is included in my solution because this is what dictates the structure of the SQL uh, tables for blog engine. It puts in some initial data there, it creates relationships and so on and so forth. So this is a necessary file to make all of this work and create the data store and schema model for my application. So I'm gonna copy it here. I'm gonna go ahead and rename that to, um, to application provision in script of SQL so Apprenda knows how to uh, manipulate that and use that when I'm creating my package. So it looks like uh, in the background, my build has succeeded. 
So we're ready now to create an apprenta package out of this application. This was it, it was just a couple of very simple steps to very few minutes and I was ready to take a vanilla.net application I downloaded from the web and get it onboarded in Apprenda and get to modernize it so you can take the advantages of the platform. Now I have a few options that I could use to uh, get my application published up in the platform. Uh, I could use the Apprenda Explorer, which is a Visual Studio extension uh, that provides access and connectivity to my Apprenda environment. I get to see my applications, promote them, demote them, uh, patch them, and so on and so forth. Um, we also have the ability from um, the solution file here to, to just right click and instruct Apprenda to create an archive. Uh, think of an archive as a zip file that has a very well-structured format that allows me to uh, to define different tiers of my application and have Apprenda uh, constructed without me having to do anything. So it'll take my solution file here, it will construct it, and then Apprenda in the back end will create a model out of my application once I get to upload it. So let's go ahead and pick the Create Archive option here under Apprenda. My UI here is the blogengine.net. Uh, the core component is not used at all. This just builds necessary DLLs that the .NET UI will use. My UI root is blogengine.net, so I'm saying that the HTTP endpoint for accessing this application is this ASP.NET project that's gonna sit on top of IIS. And I also get to pick the application provisioning script.sql, which is the file like I renamed uh, that came out of the blog engine directory and it basically instructed, um, it's gonna instruct Apprenda how to define the SQL tables here. So my solution um, was built successfully. So uh, let's go ahead and look at our archive here. And it has a couple of folders. It has our interfaces, which is our ASP.NET application. And it also has the persistent layer that contains the SQL scripts to create our database. So we're done now. So we have an archive file, we're ready to upload it to Apprenda and create a brand new application out of this archive. Let's switch here to our Microsoft Azure Stack user interface. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the archive.zip file that I just created out of Blog Engine. I'm gonna upload it uh, to Microsoft Azure Stack and in essence to Apprenda. So let's go ahead and create a new application here. We're gonna call it Blog Engine Demo. And I'm gonna say a .NET Blog Engine Sample App. And for the archive location, I went ahead and uploaded my archive.zip file into uh, Azure Storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So let's go ahead and create our application here. It's gonna take a few uh, a few seconds. There we have it, our blog engine demo application was created, it's in definition now. So one of the things I wanna do is, um, yes, I took a, a vanilla blog engine application and it's code from GitHub. Um, and it, blog engine by itself already has some authentication authorization built in. But I wanna show you how easy it is for me to plug in and wire into my application authentication from an apprentice perspective where the developer itself didn't have to run a single line of code to enable that. So I'm gonna click here on the user settings of my application and for the user access model, I'm gonna pick authenticated. That means that in order for anyone to be able to access my application, they need to be authenticated in Apprenda. I'm gonna show you how useful that's gonna be in a second. Uh, we also have a few other access models like authorization, multi-tenancy, but you can view Apprenda specific demos and, and get more details on those later on. Just go ahead and hit save here. Our application was updated successfully and we're ready now to promote our application from the definition stage to the sandbox stage, which is our dev and test uh, stage for our applications. Now, while that's happening, one of the brand new capabilities of Apprenda 653 is that I can come into the dev portal of Apprenda and I can click um, on an application that's 
being promoted at this point in time. And it will give me a very nice detailed time card that includes all the different stages that my application will go through from the moment that it starts getting promoted all the way to the point that its databases are created, it's up and running, and it's ready to, uh, to connect to and access and use the application. Uh, we haven't ported uh, this specific capability yet to, to Azure Stack, but it will come uh, in the future. Right now, this is a capability that's only visible through the Apprenda developer portal, and it's a new feature uh, of the last couple of releases of Apprenda. Uh, this is gonna take a few minutes here, so I'm uh, gonna ahead and pause the recording until that's complete. My application has not finished promoting. Uh, this process took a couple of minutes because uh, Blog Engine actually consists of uh, 3,000 plus files, so that's a lot of files to copy around and manipulate and make sure they're, uh, they're modeled correctly for our platform. So if I switch now and go back to our Azure Stack user interface, I can refresh my application. I already see that Blog Engine demo uh, is in sandbox stage, so I can click on this and I can go ahead and launch my application. And this brings me to the blogengine.net user interface using Microsoft SQL Server. So I can even do a search here. So let me pick uh, a keyword here. I'm gonna pick the word advantage. I'm gonna copy advantage here. Search works, so it's able to index and search the website. I can even log in here as an administrator. and I can create a new blog post. Let's click on content post here and see what you can do about that. Okay, new. I'm gonna call it Azure Stack Demo. This is a new post from the, for the Blog Engine app. And I'm gonna go ahead and publish this. So the post was added. If I go back to dashboard, I see that there's two published posts. Um, even more importantly now, I can actually go to Apprenda and show you how I can do a select query into the SQL database to see the post I just created. So uh, let me go ahead and click here on the blog and demo. I'm gonna click on, my, on the face icon here and I'm gonna go to access additional controls here. So what, what this takes us is to a, a version of the developer portal of, of Apprenda. Uh, that's our previous portal that has uh, the ability to, uh, to use a feature called Cloud Control that gives us access to the database so we can make SQL queries. So I'm gonna click on data storage here. Now we are specifically looking at the config of my Block Engine application. I can click on data management here and I'm gonna go ahead and run a query here and it's select star from B underscore post, the blog engine post. And there it is, I have two pieces of data. The, uh, the second one is the Azure Stack demo post I just made and the first one is the default post that comes. So I've demonstrated that I was able to take uh, an application right from GitHub, look at its source code in Visual Studio, be able to uh, make a couple of very minor changes Targeted against SQL and upload the application Apprenda, which created the model of my app, and it allowed me to use it as a multi tier application and gain a lot of the cloud uh, and modern application features like authentication, authorization, scaling, high availability. In essence, as a tenant of Azure Stack, I got a centralized view of all my private cloud resources with an experience that is consistent to Microsoft's public cloud offer offering, Microsoft Azure. Apprenda enhances this experience and introduces valuable assets that are critical to managing enterprise line of business applications. I showed you today how easy it was to take an existing application and modernize it on Apprenda. I showed you how you could use Microsoft Azure Stack to manage, deploy, scale, and monitor that application. And Apprenda and Azure Stack 
work together to own the private cloud. Getting an app on Apprenda makes the app ready for any cloud, whether that's private, like Microsoft Azure Stack, or public, Microsoft Azure. Start using Apprenda today for your line of business applications, and you'll be ready for any Azure environment. Thank you.